Welcome back to KC Talks EV, and yes, it's finally time to do the range test on the MG4. Note that I didn't mention charging curve test. Unfortunately, I'm actually at the Monk's Cross Hype Hub as we speak, and it turns out that the four 150 kilowatt HPCs behind me are not accepting any cards at the moment, which isn't very useful. I am going to report this to BP Pulse. Another thing I will mention, though, is a Model 3 did eventually did manage to actually charge up and he was only getting 37 kilowatt at 55 percent state of charge so i have a feeling that it was kind of pointless anyway if i tried to do a 150 kilowatt rapid charge test so today's range test is a bit odd if i'm perfectly honest i'm actually filming this after doing the range test because of how odd it was essentially first of all the weather wasn't great to begin with Essentially, it started to rain and therefore the roads were very wet, meaning that efficiency was a lot lower. And also I hit a lot of traffic around Leeds, which wasn't very useful. But essentially, I did end up getting a reasonable result. And if I'm honest, actually, even though it was one of the more worst case scenarios, actually, it was still fairly representative. So I didn't actually start off with 100% state of charge. Effectively, I'm really struggling to get cars to actually plug in at 98% and actually start charging. To be fair, that is a very good decision, really. You shouldn't plug into a rapid charge at that sort of state of charge. I don't think it, there really is any point to that. So effectively, I left with 98% state of charge. The weather conditions, as I thought, was around 14, 15 degrees Celsius and just a small crosswind, so about 15 miles an hour from the south. But it turns out it did get a lot more worse, as the video will allude to. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I've just had a look on the other side of the road and it looks as though that they are doing a lot of road works, which has caused a buildup of quite a lot of traffic. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm gonna keep going along the M62 for a little while and then I'm gonna turn off at the Leeds Junction. So the plan is, is that I'm going to try and extend my time on the M62 for as long as I can and we will go from there. I will probably reroute myself to avoid the traffic and the roadworks. Okay, so I don't know whether you can see that, but I've also hit a bit of rain now. So I'm a little bit worried about whether and how representative this range test actually is going to be but given the fact that I'm now also climbing so I'm increasing in elevation as well as it is now raining I'm starting to question the validity of this range test but we'll kind of soldier on Okay, so I've just turned around at the M62 Junction 22. So I've done 76.5 miles, average speed of 61 miles per hour. It's taken me an hour and 14 minutes to do that and I have averaged 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour. As I mentioned to you previously, it's not that representative. I have gained quite a lot of elevation, not to mention, as you can see here, the roads are also wet and it was raining at one point in time. So. If I'm perfectly honest, if you're expecting this to be normal sort of motorway efficiency, I would be very cautious on that. It is a lot worse in terms of it, the road conditions. It's also quite windy up here, as well as where I started from. But the temperature is still approximately 13, 14 degrees up here. So to be quite honest, in terms of temperature, at least that is fairly representative. 
I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet in regards to actually where I'm going to be bouncing to and from between junctions. The main reason why is because the traffic towards Leeds has actually become very bad. So I think if that's the case then, I want to try and maintain 70 miles per hour. And as a result, I'm going to be bouncing in between junctions. I'm going to try and get the state of charge down to, oh, by the way, it's at 61% state of charge. I'm going to try and get it towards 30% state of charge by the end of the test. So I've used the vast majority of the battery and I've got enough to get to the Monks Cross Hyperhub in York. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to avoid traffic completely. I'm currently stuck on the M62. It turns out that even if I went the other way and sort of bounced around between junctions, it turns out I don't think it would have made that much of a difference anyway. I would have just caught up on this traffic. So I'm just gonna get stuck straight into the traffic at least. My plan is though, is that I am gonna head towards York. So I am gonna go onto the A64 to complete the charging curve test. I'm currently at 54%, I'm averaging 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour, so the drop in elevation has actually just about counteracted itself, I think. Hour and 35 minutes, and I've done 94.8 miles. So at this point in time, I'm still not sure whether I'm going to head directly to York or whether I'm gonna follow the M62. It's advised me if I want to go towards Hull anyway, that I should come off at the M621, which is, I believe, coming up in a moment. So if that's the case, I think I might follow that and then see where it takes me. It's really important, I think, for the range test at least, just to get the battery percentage down so I can calculate available capacity. So in terms of the representativeness of actually what I'm driving, it is raining, it, there is a little bit of stop-start traffic, but I have just about managed to maintain about 70 miles an hour throughout the whole journey, apart from this bit. So it's not gonna to cause too much heartache, I don't think. Okay, so the range test is now complete. So I had done 134.2 miles, average speed of 54 miles per hour. It took me roughly two hours, 30 minutes to complete that. And I ended up with a efficiency of 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour. Now that is actually pretty good. As I mentioned in the initial impressions video, this car actually is built on a brand new made for EV platform called MSP and effectively because it is a ground up EV it should in theory be a lot more efficient and if you compare it to for example a MG5 if you compare it to a ZS EV long range it is definitely more efficient I wouldn't say that it was significantly more I have feeling that the weather conditions and things probably added to that but essentially it definitely is more efficient in comparison to a ZS EV in similar conditions. Now, the next portion of it is, so as I mentioned to you previously, I started with 98% state of charge. I finished with 34% state of charge. So I use 64% of the battery. If we then extrapolate that and do the maths, we end up with a usable capacity of 63.54 kilowatt hours. That is pretty much on par, give or take half a kilowatt hour to what MG are quoting actually in their brochures and specifications of 64 kilowatt hours. So finally, if we do further extrapolation, what we find is that we get a 100% down to 0% theoretical range of 209.68 or effectively 210 miles. 
Now, given the weather conditions today, including wind, bit of rain, and the roads were wet, so obviously efficiency would drop quite considerably, that is pretty good. And in fact, actually, the WLTP of 280, I think 283 miles, is fairly representative and it will be attainable in milder conditions, which is a very important thing to note. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. So if you liked the video or you found it informative, please give it a like, dislike it if you didn't. Please share this video to anyone who is considering purchasing an MG4, especially the long range version, because this is the range test for it. Finally, a massive thank you to Maple Garage for lending me the car for testing purposes, and I will leave a link in the description below. So I think that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching and talk to you later.